Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing great. So as I have started a series on how I did my certification related to EC Council CompShare. So yes, we have seen that there are two parts when it comes to cybersecurity. One is if you want to work in security and testing. The so other one is related to management. So I've started a series on how you did certifications, how you can do these certifications or how I did these certifications related to security and testing if you want to work in cybersecurity. So it will be very important. So today we're going to see very important certification is incident handling. So there's a certification from EC Council, which is uh, EC Council Certified Incident Handler. So how you can start handling those incidents in your network, in your infrastructure. So for that, we need to use some tools, techniques, and methods. So I'm going to show you what ECIH is going to cover. So I'm going to share my screen here. So if we see here how I did my ECIH, which is EC Council Certified Incident Handler. The latest version which we have here is ECIH v2. This course is for three days compared to other certifications which you might have seen, which are mostly for five days. But this certification is for three days, 24 hours is the time you need to spend as per EC Council. So a lot of times I hear a question when people say that, is it possible for them to go through the content because these are only three days? Yes, it is possible because we are going to give you an overview with uh, the theoretical concepts with the lab. We are also discussing questions which will be helpful for you to pass an exam. So these resources, which I have already covered in one of my previous videos, you can go to these resources and you can search for some practice, que practice questions. So EC Council will not allow you to cheat, but to see what are some kind of questions uh, which they might be asking. So you might not be able to see the similar question, but at least it gives you some confidence because uh, these are the questions they have been asking. So what kind of questions they can ask in the exam so they are getting prepared because uh, time management is very important for these exams. So there are three days, you know, these are the resources which I've already covered in one of my previous videos, uh, top four sites you can visit for any exam. So Microsoft or CompShare or EC Council or any of the certification body, they will not allow you to cheat, but these are some resources. You just go to Google and search for some practice questions. So it will give you some sort of confidence, you know, to uh, pass this exam. So these are some resources. So these are the modules, introduction to what is instant handling and response, instant handling and response process. So forensic readiness and first response. So you, if you go as a first responder, so what are your duties, what you can do as a first responder, you know, to take a screenshot, to take sketch, to make a sketch, to take photographs of the crime scene. So to take the interview of the people who are sitting there. So a lot of things are there. Incident handling and responding to malware incidents, email security incidents, network incidents, web application incidents, cloud incidents, and how you handle insider threats. Because we have seen these are the most important, you know, when it comes to any network, when it comes to any organization. So it's very important for them to understand how to handle malware incident, email, network, web, cloud, and insider threats. So these are the people, our employees who are working within our organization. We used to trust them, but it used to happen earlier. Now we are not trusting them. We have a zero trust uh, model. We have a zero trust network. So these are very important. Now, if you see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So three modules on a day, that is how this training is going to happen. So in three days, they are going to cover, trainer is going to cover all these modules uh, with the lab, with the theory, and also discussing some questions with you. So this is your exam. This is the code 21289. Whenever you want to search some practice questions, you can search with the code. 100 questions you need to solve in three hours. All multiple choice questions. You need to uh, set up an uh, account on exam portal from EC Council. You also need to make an account on Aspen portal to download all the content. And then passing score is 70% multiple choice questions. So this is a brochure, which is the latest one, which has got all the details. I'm going to attach that in uh, description, which will be helpful. So for planning, I can say three days to go through the course content, maybe three modules each day, five modules to go through the lab. I'm giving a little more, you know, two days because uh, with the lab, you'll have an idea how, uh, because there are a lot of tools which you are going to understand here. If you have done ethical hacking or other some relevant courses like CHFI, it'll be very easy for you to understand. So you might be spending three days, but if you are new to ECIH, then you might need to spend five days three days to go through the practice questions and two days to revise. So I'll say two weeks is enough, or if you are a slow learner, go for three weeks, two or three weeks is enough for you to pass this exam. So 
This is the uh, badge you get from EC Council, and I am certified EC Council instructor, so I can teach their courses. So this is the badge I got from them being a certified EC Council instructor. So this is about ECIH, EC Council Certified Instant Handler. So two or three weeks, depending on what kind of learner you are, uh, it's a little okay, not that difficult, but depends on if you understand all the nine modules, go through the labs, go through the course content and write this exam. So for any organization, if we talk about incident handling, so for every organization, they want to recover those incidents and come back to normal as soon as possible. So time is very important. Resources, how you, how you utilize those limited resources. For example, I have only few employees. So how, how I can give them more responsibility. So how I can utilize uh, those limited resources, time is very important and money. So how you do all this with, with as much limited money as possible. So there might be some other objectives, depending on what kind of organization is it, is this data is very important, then they don't care about money and that they care, but not that much. So because data, you know, uh, uh, recovering the data will become very important. Let's assume, you know, for a bank, they're ready to spend as much money as possible, but they want to recover that data or they don't want that, that data to get leaked you know, some sensitive data getting lead. But for every organization I have seen, the main objective is to come to back as, uh, come to back normal as soon as possible. So time, money, resources, you know, limited resources, how you utilize them, you know, but you'll be able to understand a lot of other techniques once it comes to incident handling. So this is it about incident handling. I'll come up with some other videos where I will discuss what are the other certifications. So for those, who are interested to go for instant handling. This is a certification from EC Council. Lot of important and interesting stuff, three days to go through. You can search for uh, an organization where you can attend this training and it will be easy for you to become EC Council certified instant handler, which is being recognized or accepted by most of the organizations, right? So thanks for your comments, like, subscribe and share. Please keep supporting so that I'll come up some, with some other videos. I'll see you in some other lecture.